Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Time. Thank you once again for joining me for another installment of the Napa Valley sub Appalachian series. Today I'm filming live and on location in one of the most obscure Appalachians of Napa Valley called the Wild Horse Valley AVA. Um, it's actually so obscure that I came out here multiple times trying to pinpoint where these vineyards were and ended up getting lost several times. But today I finally pinpointed some of the vineyards and I wanted to talk a little bit about the Appalachian. Now, it's one of the older Appalachians in Napa Valley. It was established in 1988 by two gentlemen that came up here in 1980 and planted a 24 acre vineyard that they called the Heron Lake Vineyard and established a winery. And it's actually to this date, the only winery that's actually in operation inside of the Wild Horse Valley Appalachian. Those guys were John Newmeyer and David Mahaffey. And they're still producing a wine under the label called Olivia Brion, which is that original vineyard that they had planted back in 1980. And it's about 3,300 total acres, but it's very, uh, very dense hillsides and very obscure and full of nature and only about 70 acres of vines are actually planted in the AVA. Now it's in like the southern, like southeastern portion of Napa, like right above Coombsville, way up on the Vaca Range. And it's actually the only other Appalachian besides Carneros to share some of its boundaries with a neighboring county. So part of this Appalachian is in Napa Valley and part of it is in Solano County next door. Uh, right over the mountain. Um, it is mostly rocky, well-drained volcanic soil up here. Because it's so far south on the Vaca Range, um, it's very much a cool climate district. And what grows best up here in this Appalachian is definitely Pinot Noir and Chardonnay. And that is what makes up most of the plantings up here. Um, from what I understand, there's a little bit of Syrah, like cool climate Syrah that grows down here as well. Um, there's not a lot of things to do up here but besides enjoy the beautiful views over Napa Valley. Um, there's certainly a ton of wild animals up here. I've seen multiple red-tailed hawks flying over me just as I'm filming right now. So it's a very beautiful place to come. I know that if you take Wild Horse Valley Road and go all the way to the top, you'll find the Kenzo Estate, uh, which is a Japanese businessman that started Capcom the uh, video game producer that made Street Fighter 2, and he uh, bought a 4,000 acre equestrian site up there, and he planted about 150 acres. And I know his property is very, very beautiful, and some of that vineyard, I believe, is in the Wild Horse Valley AVA. So that's one winery that you can come up here and uh, have an appointment and get a really a beautiful experience. Uh, so if you're in Napa Valley and you want to Ex uh, experience every single sub district here. I would uh, definitely recommend coming up here, getting an appointment with Kenzo if you wanna if you wanna come up to the Wild Horse Valley Appalachian. At any rate, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, there's not much more to talk about Wild Horse Valley other than it's a very uh, rustic and beautiful environment up here. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel, for commenting, for liking my videos, and until next time, guys. Thank you. Cheers.